Okay. There are some people out there who says that they do all of these good things. They say that they are this good person. And because they do some good things, they should, they believe that they should go to heaven after death. God cares more about obedience to him other than good deeds. Now, good deeds is the cherry on top. God does care about good deeds, but he cares more about obedience than sacrifice. I pray that this makes sense. Good deeds are necessary, very necessary. What is God looking for? God is looking for complete obedience from us. So what does this mean? We have to follow his rules and regulations. We have to acknowledge Jesus as our Savior. We must acknowledge that he died for our sins so that we would have the opportunity to become saved. We have to acknowledge that we are nothing without him. We have to acknowledge that we are his servants. We are not our own God. We have to be and stay obedient to Jesus Christ. Some people don't understand that. We have to stay obedient to God. So you can do all of these good things if you are not following God's word. How can you get into heaven? Based upon some good things that you have done in life? No. We have to follow his rules and regulations. I am sure that you have heard of the Ten Commandments. There are other rules in the New Testament that we have to follow as well. While we are following God, it is good for us to do good deeds. What if we only do good deeds and don't follow God's rules and regulations? If we do this, no matter how good you think you are, you will go to hell. This is what you have to understand, guys, or you all. Why is this? You are not obeying God's rules and regulations. Good deeds are not going to take you to heaven. It is not. Good deeds is just the cherry on top. God loves good deeds, but... If you are not obeying him, your good deeds are in vain. Yes. God loves good deeds. God is looking for obedience first, then sacrifice. Not the other way around or only sacrifice. God is looking for complete obedience to him. Are we going to make mistakes in life? Of course. Even I, I still make mistakes from time to time. What can we do? Aim to make less and less mistakes. Whatever you are doing, stop doing what you are doing. <laughs> Will you still make mistakes? Of course. What should you do if you continue to make mistakes. You have to repent of your sins each time you disobey God. What do you mean by repent? Okay. You have to apologize to God for everything that you do wrong. For instance, you can say, God, please forgive me of all my sins. This is... An example of how you can repent to God. The way you can apologize to God, it is much more simple than how you are trying to explain it. It is much more simple than what you think. 
I know that you are frustrated and feel overwhelmed. When you begin to live for God, it is much easier than what you think, than what you believe. Living for God is difficult, yes, but it is easier than what you think. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless. Okay.